welcome back to birdies as you know i'm d and i really love birds if you missed last week's episode check it out up there somewhere floating in space also here is the bird rubric that we go over on every episode but bird are we talking about today toucans so toucans are in the family ram today which actually includes about 40 different species of toucan as well as smaller birds like toucanets and aracaris the one thing that all of these birds have in common is just a disproportionately large bill and compared to the rest of their bodies. They have a lifespan of between 12 and 20 years, but the oldest toucan lived to be 26. And toucans are native to South America. So let's get into it. With category number one, we're into bird smarts. Fact number one is that toucans have many different uses for their bills. Scientists have found that one of the main roles that a toucan's bill plays is helping it cool off and regulate its body temperature. My second fact is that Native American tribes often use toucans on their totem poles because they represent showmanship and communication. So for category number one, I'm gonna rate toucans a four out of 10. Moving on into category number two, we're into bird call. Toucans are among the world's noisiest birds. Typically when they sing, they kind of sound like frogs croaking. Here's an example. So there you go, it's very cute. But they also make tapping and clattering noises with their beaks. Also, typically toucans are louder during the day than they are during the morning or the evening, which is the complete opposite from how most birds are. Kinda cool. So for bird call, I'm going to rate toucans a five out of 10. Moving on to category number three, we're into plumage. Toucans have the largest bills in relation to their body size of all birds in the animal kingdom. So the inside of a toucan's beak is made up of very thin bone, but the outer layers of it actually consists of keratin. And speaking of their beaks, most people associate toucans with having a black and orange bill. But there are actually several different types of toucans across South America that show variations in their beak colors, including red, green, blue, yellow, black, and brown. My last fact for this category is that toucans are considered to be monomorphic. If you remember from a previous video, I talked about something called sexual dimorphism, where males and females look different from each other. Toucans do not have that, and it's very difficult just from sight to tell what gender they are. So for this category, I'm gonna rate toucans a six out of 10. Moving right along, now we're into eating habits. So toucans are considered to be omnivores. They eat a variety of foods, including fruits and berries, but they will also eat lizards, rodents, insects, and some other small birds. However, most toucans are classified as something called a frugivore because a majority of their diet consists of fruit. So for toucans to be able to eat all of this fruit, they actually have a serrated side of their beak that they use basically as a knife to peel fruit and then eat it. So that's all I could find for this category. And so for eating habits, I'm gonna rate toucans a six out of 10. Trucking right along, we're now into mating habits. So as I talked about before, toucans' beaks serve a multitude of purposes. One theory is that it plays a role in their courtship because the multiple colors on their beaks are alluring to potential mates. They are very, very friendly and are typically seen in groups of between three and 12 birds at once. So they've observed toucans in groups as large as 20 birds. It's believed that they are monogamous, and one of their courtship rituals is actually them tossing fruit back and forth to each other from tree to tree, which is kind of cute. So for this category, I'm gonna rate toucans a seven out of 10. Moving right along into flight patterns. Toucans are considered to be non-migratory and they don't fly very often at all, though they can, their beaks make it a little bit difficult for them to do that. What they prefer to do is hop from tree to tree, which is so cute. Now, because they're non-migratory, they spend most of their lives living at the top of the canopies in the rainforest. They tend to nest in tree cavities that are naturally made or ones that are left over from other birds like woodpeckers. And when it's time for a toucan to rest, they actually do kind of a bit of a contortionist's act and they flip their heads around backwards 
and tuck their beaks under their wings in order to conserve body heat. So for this category, I'm gonna rate toucans a seven out of 10. And now we're into our last category, D's own bias. So a baby toucan is called a chick and they're typically incubated for around 20 days. Now when they're born, their beaks are very, very small and they're completely yellow and they do not grow to their very large size or get any of their colors until they're older. Which I love, it's so cute. My next fact is that the country of Belize's national bird is actually the rainbow-billed toucan. Toucans are often mistakenly linked to the hornbill, but this is actually incorrect and one of their closest relatives are woodpeckers. Fun little fact. And last but not least, the tongue of a toucan actually looks like a feather. It's pretty sick. So for this category, I'm gonna give toucans an extra nine out of 10 points. And that's gonna bring us to the end of toucans. After tallying up their points, they get an average 6.3 out of 10. So cool. Let me know what you would rate toucans. Leave me suggestions for other birds you think I should rate. And as always, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. There will always be more birds. All right, see you in a week.